super luper ähm, tutorial ähm, äh, part 4 and um, what i will do today is that i connected uh, super looper with um, Ardu, which is a hard disk recording tool, but which I can use for effects rooted from Super Looper sound effects and goes to the output again and I can connect everything with everything and it's really really cool if you, even if you want to use it for live uh, music making. So what I did is that I have this um, hard disk recording tool Ardu, it's open source, you can uh, download it in the internet. and I have running Super Looper, so now I have four stereo tracks, uh, four stereo loops which are muted all now. And um, in Ardu I have four stereo buses. Um, I will show you how I routed everything. Go to the pilot, you see there's a lot, very very lot of inputs and outputs. Because what I did is, don't care about QuickTime, this is just my screen recording now. What I did is that I take system capture and routed it to common in of Super Looper 1 and 2 and I connected it to some nice condensator stereo microphones to record some percussion. Um, what I did then is that I took each single loop in Super Looper and routed the outputs of these loops to the buses in Ardo. So each loop goes to one channel in one bus. You see, I click them all. So I have splitted them and I can, for example, take one effect for one loop, another effect for another loop. Um, the outputs of the um, Ardua channels all go, go to master in and master out goes to um, playback of my system so we can hear everything. I hope this is uh, not too difficult uh, to understand. So now let's have a look. I will open um, Super Looper so we can see Super Looper and Ardu in the background so we can see what I do. First I want to show you what I recorded. This is not about high quality recording, this is just a tutorial so don't um, <laughs> be angry about the sound. I made some percussion in my studio and uh, I will show you the single um, uh, single loops. So first we have some conga sound. It's a wooden cajon conga. The next one is some uh, bass drum like sound of my djembe. Sorry. Next track is some cajons. And I have some rainmaker shaking. All in stereo. Okay, now let's hear all together. And you see it's all uh, all linked to the buses in Ardua. So now let's see what we can do in Ardua. I solo the first part in Ardua, which is the conga sound, and I prepared some things like I want to have some. Oh. I already added some uh, reverb, I just will deactivate it, this is the dry sound, okay. So I can use some equalizer for example, so it loses some of the low uh, sounds, so it, everything gets cleaner. Then let's have a look at this bass drum sounding djembe. I can add some equalizer here too. This is a graphic equalizer. And I tried some gating. So it's only this sound. Silence. Silence. Uh, snare sound. I think it's too broad. I want just want some um, Snary sound, very snary sound, doesn't work. What's that? Mm. As you can hear now it's a little smoother. 
Oh, what's that? I messed with this equalizer. Okay. Okay, let's have a look at this rain. Just for kidding, I, I added some uh, delay to the rain to make it more broad. Okay, and now let's see it all together. And for example, we can add some reverb plate. And what you can do is, I'll turn the music off, wait some second. So, what you could do is that instead of for, for, for live um, playing, for example, instead of using the jack pilot and routing the capture directly into Super Looper, you could first take the bus, for example, add some delay or compressor or equalizer, and after that go into Super Looper, uh, which means that you can already record the effects you um, use in Ardour. Well, I hope this um, is helpful and uh, I would enjoy to hear some Super Looper music on YouTube. Thank you.